Alright, hello guys. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial. This is actually my first tutorial. By the way, if you guys are seeing any lag, that's because I'm actually in a virtual box. Because I actually already have Norton on my, um, on my PC, but, um, anyway. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get Norton International Security, or basically any, actually. I would go with Norton International Security because it's basically the same thing as Norton 360. Just that Norton 360 apparently has some weird um, booster. So uh, I actually got to uh, show you guys how to get it. And this is going to be hard because I actually haven't even done this yet. But uh, let me just see. You guys are just going to see my actual thing. My actual cursor. I can actually find it. Alright, so this is going to be hard if I can even do this if I can copy and paste I'm not sure if I can but uh we'll see if I can't then I'll just do that but uh like I said it don't really matter fire page <clears throat> by the way you guys might also uh ask me why does it say this weird text right here because so uh media fire doesn't read my shit so as you can see you got a whole bunch of ads going on Press download. Ads, ads, and ads. Very beautiful. I'm gonna try to use um, Mediafire so it downloads very quickly. Hopefully, it downloads, quick, downloads quickly because I'm in the virtual box. I'm actually gonna get rid of um, out of this one window, so it won't take a while. Including with ads. There's our Norton. Yay. Ooh, come on, can we do it? Alright, good. As you can see, I'm actually saved as a RAR after I named it, so I guess it made 2 dot RAR at the end, but like I said, I don't care. So next, the file, run RAR, now press run. Alright, and I'll actually just put my installer, my, my actual RAR file on the desktop. Okay, let me see. Press install. <clears throat> there you go. Now press OK. And press done. Now, as you can see, you will actually get this. I'll actually just put this on my thing right there. All right. <clears throat> now, as you can see, now you'll see that now it has a basically a stack of books. I wonder why they actually did that. I don't know why. As you see, now you have this folder installer plus trial reset. Now, like I said, I have to put in a password, but like I said, I'll put it in the um in the description so nobody copies me. All right, and I'm back. No, I really don't care whether. I'm probably gonna cut out a lot of parts on this video. <laughs> so anyway, next. Now what we'll do is we will. We could actually delete this next. We really don't need it. And now what we will do is firstly install. So right click the installer and press run as. Oh wait a minute, this ain't gonna work. I'm not sure. Or maybe it will. Basically you if you have a password, make sure you right click it and go to run as administrator and type in your password. Or whatever your account is, so it will at least um <clears throat> install correctly. So let's wait for the installer to pop up. It's gonna pop up anytime now. Not Norton. <laughs> Norton, where are you? Hold on a second. Come on, Norton, where the fuck are you? Okay, now you pop up, but it don't really matter. Just for Windows Vista and Windows 7 users, just make sure you right click and go around as administrator. For some reason on my Windows 7, it didn't work without me reinstalling it in administrator, so maybe it'll be different in XP. But I doubt you guys are using XP anyway, so definitely make sure you do run as administrator. Press. You guys don't have to do this. Like I said, I do not want to do this, so. Let that press agree and install. 
and I will pause this while this installs and it actually installs rather quickly but I just don't feel like doing a lot of deleting alright guys I'm back that actually took rather seven minutes because number one well it should take you guys probably less probably around maybe like two or one minutes maybe one or two minutes but it actually took me longer because of um me running in the virtual box with only 300 megabytes of RAM so I'm actually doing this on the PC that actually has internet connection which is my old Dell <clears throat> but like I said it only has a gig of RAM so again my virtual box only one gig of RAM too I mean what the hell did I just have only 300 megabit megabytes of RAM so I can actually move my nope I like Windows 7 <laughs> As you can see, it says starting. This is going to take very much of a while because, of course, running in XP. Oh, there you go. Now, when I actually did this, it actually takes a little bit more than a while, even on my home computer. So, whenever you press Explore Norton, you're definitely going to have to wait just a little bit of a while. Let me just turn off this. As you can see, so now the Norton is on um, the Norton icons there. <clears throat> have to wait a while. I actually might cut this part out, but this is actually how long it takes to have, actually have the thing physically start up. So I wonder if it will allow me to search my start menu. How much freaking RAM it's taken up? No, I'm just kidding. Norton really doesn't take up that much RAM, believe it or not. People do like to say that, but it... come on. All right, go to copy. That's basically what I do right there. So you just click copy, get out the start menu, right-click anywhere on your desktop you want to put it, and then go to paste. And now you should have your Northern Internet Security icon there. <clears throat> this beautiful Blarman XP. Alright. <clears throat> so, as you could see now, you could actually do it. Alright, so as you can see, so now we have our interface <clears throat> so uh, basically as you could see I definitely recommend doing the live update but I'm not going to do it right now I'm just going to show you guys how this works the um, actual thing works so what you want to do when you actually get this installed and everything <clears throat> I'm actually going to take the Norton trial reset 2013 I'm gonna put it on the desktop. This is um, basically just a trial resetter now. I'm just gonna drag this into the recycle bin. Delete it so I don't create any more space on this damn desktop. All right. Next, I'm gonna put it, the um, trial reset and just into the documents so we don't have to deal with it. <clears throat> Next, when you actually do this you and you actually try reset I'm gonna show you guys what you have to do firstly since you're using your internet security you have to go into the actual program first if that go into settings <clears throat> and as you can just get out of my freaking way all right whatever go to general Go to product security. Then, as you can see, you see this Norton product tamper protection. You want to click off on that. <clears throat> Press apply. Now, when you see this, it says security request. La 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 la. This and that. Go to permanently and press OK. Press OK again, and there you go. So now, actually, what you want to do is when you 
basically now since I'm gonna make this a definitely longer um trial I'm actually gonna do the convert to six days and I'm actually gonna show you what to do then alright so I'm gonna actually restart the PC into safe mode which you can do by if you don't know how to you know actually restart on safe mode safe mode which I believe most people do but if you guys don't know how to <clears throat> you have to actually when you first start up your PC press F8 rapidly and I'll show you the um, menu there all right all right so as you can see I'm actually inside it hold up all right what you want to do is go to safe mode and press enter like 12 p whatever yours is so I'm just gonna wait for it to finish you know I'm just I'm just gonna pause this so you guys don't have to wait so apparently they're not Alright, so as you can see, we're in safe mode now. We're just going to go ahead and press no. Alright, so as you can see, now we're inside the safe mode. You can't do shit in here. One second, this is going to um, load up something. Just, just exit out. You don't need to. Use that. Alright. Go to your start menu. <clears throat> now go to wherever you saved your thing. And run the Norton Trial Reset 2013. Now, as you can see, now you, now you now this will actually pop up. What you want to do is now press A and then enter. After I press B, then enter, <clears throat> and it, sh it will actually automatically restart this for you. Now, I will actually be back when this restarts, and it's fully booted up, so I'll be back. Oh, and actually, by the way, guys, if um, it doesn't automatically restart, just go to your start menu and restart it yourself, so I'll be back when this boots up. Alright, as you can see, I'm on my desktop. It is actually still loading a little bit, so we have to wait, but it will be fully booted up in a second, so just wait. And all we did is actually converted it, but like I said, well, Norton, so oh, damn it, I had to click on that bubble. Alright, get off. Alright, so what, basically, if you're just going to, uh, you know, reset it a million times, or whenever you reset it, just right click on it. Go to run as. T type in your password and whatnot. <clears throat> oh, this of course ain't gonna work. So whenever you press run as, it does not work. So we we'll just press E to continue. And after that, you just press A again to reset, and that resets it for you. So every day, that will basically whenever you need, well whenever you do it, which I actually recommend whenever you reset it. Just make sure that uh, your actual Norton will um, just make sure that it's at least around like 25 days, so you won't really have to worry about it much. All right, so that's basically it. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Have any problems? Just email me. My email address will be at the um, in the description too. All right, so. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Alright. Let's see. Let's see our um, output. You know, I'll actually pause it again since we're on the um, slow as virtual machine. You know what? I decided just to show you guys what it'll look like on my machine. Oh, my actual physical one. Let's just wait for it. As you can see, this is what your out output would be. Well, well yours will actually say 60 days, but mine says this, right? This video really ran into 21 minutes, so whatever. Hopefully, YouTube actually allows me to uh, <clears throat> actually upload it. It doesn't really matter to me. I'll find a way to um, upload it. But anyway, this is what it would look like.
back so you can do live update you can do this and that you can do anything like a real physical norn inner security would right peace